we're going to be unboxing and testing Bamboo's new 3D printer. And the box is huge. <laughs> this is a big box. Turn this round. <laughs> oh, this is the H2D printer. And um, if you don't have a lot of space, this might not be, hang on, let me push this this way. This might not be the printer for you. <laughs> Let's have a go at unboxing it. So, <laughs> just to get this far has been uh, quite a mission. It's important to note, this is very heavy. Uh, which is great, that's what you want. And also, I, with it on this table, almost didn't have enough space to take the box off without jamming it into the ceiling. The packaging is very, very well designed. And actually, I've just got to this point, I wanted to stop the time lapse and show you that here, this is gonna be the container for the spools of uh, filament here. It's inside. And I don't know if you can see that, but there are these red bolts here, here, here and here. Those are designed to hold it in place in transit. And also there's cable ties, all sorts of things. So you're just gonna have to be patient, perseverant and systematic in your approach to unboxing this because it has been boxed to freight beautifully, beautifully. Um, the packaging in this is second to none from a keeping it safe while it's in transit point of view. All right, so let's free uh, the stuff inside here and, <laughs> and see if we can see if we can get this thing going. Okay, so I've connected all of these points here, added this, and this is the massive pile of stuff I've just taken off from here. There is a substantial amount of work that goes into setting this up. A lot, a lot of work. Now, I need to use my phone to scan a QR code. So I'll be back after these messages. Scanning the QR code allows you to download the app, which basically walks you through every single step that you need to set up this printer. Then you scan another code, which takes you to the detailed setup process. There are video instructions for every single step. Bamboo has basically thought of everything to make this as simple as possible. So I've got to this stage and now it wants to do a calibration and it says that is going to take 31 minutes. So one thing to note if you're setting this printer up, do not expect to be able to unbox it and print something unless you've got a good two hours to spare. <laughs> <laughs> I'm exaggerating a bit. I think probably it's taken me about 45 minutes to unbox everything, get everything set up. I haven't even put any spools in here yet. The calibration is beginning. So right now it's moving the head around this bed here in order to check the level of the bed all the way across to make sure it's level. And it's, um, literally doing the whole thing about every every inch now it's using active noise reduction to reduce the volume of each motor crazy now vibration compensation it's literally shaking itself intentionally to understand how to calibrate I may have to run this again because this table that I'm using in front of my backdrop here in the workshop is a little shaky. So when this goes to its real home, I may need a little bit of uh, recalibration. Flat bed calibration two. Nozzle offset calibration. All right. Let's do this. Okay, so it's done. Now I've got to add some filament.
Okay, after much effort, <laughs> I have got it connected and it is ready to go. So let's now go home and try and print something really simple. So I'm going to print that next PLA print. Whew. Let's see how it does. Okay, so it's printing now. This thing is so fast. I've never seen anything print this quickly. It's kind of crazy off the hook fast. This is gonna transform my workflow. I can't believe this. Look at it. Okay, it is finished. Take this whole thing out. There it is. That is so good. Look at it. That is nuts. Okay, my mind is blown right now. Now, those of you that are dyed in the wool users of printers like this are probably like, oh, what's he talking about? That's just like normal. For me, this is crazy. <laughs> the speed and the quality, considering my old 3D printer, which I will show you now. See what I mean? This is crazy. I cannot wait to try something else with this. So I decided to add some filament to the filament dispensing unit. You uh, take the filament end, push in, I'm trying to do it without, without my fingers getting in the way, push this in, uh, and then it just feeds it in automatically. Then you'll notice here that it's doing its thing, trying to identify and figure out what it's got there. Little question mark comes up. You tap on it, click edit, and then uh, you can choose the color. So I'm gonna choose white. Uh, vendor is gonna be generic. It's PLA, confirm, and then boom. You'll see now that it says white PLA is in that slot. Just super, super easy. Um, and it's as easy to eject the filament as well. It's um, a very, very, very good system. I love it. And of course, this container also keeps your filament dry and uh, acts as a form of dehumidifier. With everything ready to go, it was time to print a whole bunch of stuff to make sure I was testing this to its full extent, including a multicolored print. So now I've had the chance to play with this amazing printer and print a few things from, you know, the demo models all the way through to little articulated models to what I would consider some fairly complex printing um, in a filament that typically doesn't look that great on certainly the printer I've been using. I am mightily impressed. This printer is easy to use in that all the calibration, all the complex stuff, it's kind of out of the way and hidden. Now, if you're a really dyed in the wool 3D printer and you love fettling with everything and tweaking everything, I'm sure you can do this. I haven't had to. I love the fact that it calibrates itself every time it prints, that the print quality is really, really good, that it's super, super fast. And again, I've only printed small things, but I'm excited to print bigger models on this and see how it looks, like printing a whole Stormtrooper helmet or something like that. But yes, my initial feelings about this printer are it's amazing. It's a huge step up if you've not used a printer like this before and you're looking to really enhance your printing capability. I also like the fact that every time I switch this thing on, it gives me kind of a geeky, encouraging phrase. And I love the fact that there's a couple of in-jokes here, like when you go on the speed settings, you can choose ludicrous speed, for example, as the speed that it prints at when it wants to do 166%. We're gonna have to go right to ludicrous speed. <laughs> They've gone to plaid. If you're looking for a massive upgrade to your printing experience, if you're looking to print in dual colors, in dual materials, if you're looking for an easy set and forget approach, this printer gets my vote. If you're into building stuff like me, you're gonna want to watch one of these two videos, both of which are about building stuff and both of which are about making things that look awesome. So click on one of them, you know you want to. This one or this one.